Hi, I'm Ryan Olson, member of the service team here at SpraySmarter.com. Today, we're going to walk through the installation steps of a Cruiser 2. Here's what comes with the Cruiser 2 Helix kit. You have your operator's manual, your power cable, your Cruiser 2 monitor, your Helix antenna, antenna cable, and RAM mount kit to mount it to the windshield. First, let's install the antenna on the roof. First, I would take my steel plate, pull the two-sided adhesive off the back, simply take off those strips, and then I want to place that anywhere on the roof of my cab. I'm just going to tell my cruiser exactly where it's pinpointed. As you can see right here, there's not a good place to securely put it in the center. Um, so I know that I've measured over a couple inches and I could place it there. I just am going to tell my Cruiser 2 that it's situated a couple inches off center and my offset is going to go towards the left. So here I would be, I've already measured this out, I'm four inches to the left. So I would mount that securely. Then I'm going to grab my antenna take that off the bottom and then I'm going to put that up there then we'll take the cable and there's two sides to this cable here uh, this one here this kind of a uh, half turn uh, this one here goes on the back of the cruiser uh, and then this one here is going to screw right into it Now I'm ready to run my cable down into my cab so I can hook it into my cruiser. Okay, now we'll put the inside components together. I'm going to take the base of my RAM mount here. Then I'll take the actual RAM and I want to leave this smooth flat side. I want to leave that to put on the back of my cruiser. So we'll put this together with the supplied screws. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and attach this ram to the back of my cruiser. So we'll loosen it up just a little bit, put it upright so we have some room to get to the cruiser. The cruiser console is going to have two screws on the back of it. We'll just go ahead and take those out. Then once I have those out, I'll just put my RAM mount in here. Tighten those up just a little bit. So there's that. Now, on the back of my cruiser, you can see there's several ports back here. So for a basic install, just for guidance, we're only going to use a couple of these ports. So I will bring my cable in. This is my cable that we ran in the cab from the antenna. We'll install that here. Give that a turn. Now I have my power cable. So we'll take the uh, tie off the cable here. We'll go ahead and plug that in. There's only one place for that to go, right there. Now we're ready to mount the cruiser. So I choose to mount it over here on my window, over next to my other controllers. Just press it to the glass and turn, and that's going to secure it to the window. So I'm going to put that right there. Now, my cigarette lighter adapter. I can plug into my power port right here, and I'm ready to go. I've just installed the Cruiser 2. Now it'll take it just a minute to fire up the first time, and you'll see it'll go through a series of checks on the lights here.
And then here I am in my setup screen. So we can walk through this setup screen. I'm going to choose English and U.S. measurement, or I can use metric. We're going to stick with U.S. I want to put in my guidance width here. So this particular machine, we have a 1080 inch guidance width. So here it's asking me for my antenna position. So the fore aft, that is where my where my antenna is in relation to my implement. In this case would be my sprayer booms. So on this particular machine I know that I am 135 inches in front of these booms. So we'll hit the fore aft here and it shows you, in case you forget, it shows you exactly where to measure to. And we're going to go 135, hit the check mark. Now my left right, this is where we we talked about earlier we have an offset since uh, we couldn't put our antenna exactly in the middle of the machine on the roof there. We had to move it over to the left about four inches. So we're going to change that from zero. We're going to put a four in there. And that shows that we moved over the center by four inches. Now if we moved the antenna to the right side, we would just check this right of center and that would shift it over the other way. But we're on the left side. Uh, and then the height, which is going to be from the ground to the base of the antenna. Uh, in this case, for this particular crop clearance of machine, uh, we are going to be at right at 144 inches or 12 feet. Get your own key and now you're done. You're ready to go. This was a quick video on how to install a Raven Cruiser 2. For any additional questions or to purchase a Raven Cruiser 2, please contact us here at spraysmarter.com.